Well, hey, hello, fellow rebooters. How are you doing tonight? I've been out in the garden all day and I've been mulch and it looks beautiful. I still got a bunch to do, but it's really, really nice to have some of these things done. And um, so tonight is an easy night and I just wanted to show how simple it can be to eat this way. It doesn't always have to be, you know, some big recipe. So it's uh, stuff, Mexican stuffed potato and, and uh, audacious beet salad tonight and the leftover clafuti. So, you know, the leftover, that's easy. And I just got, got some things out. So I thought I would go ahead and put together the beet salad. I already chopped things up as usual. So I'll do that and then I'll show you what I'm doing on the stove. So I got a hi Karen Rose in and then I've got a, a nice mango. And mint. Oh you can't go wrong with those three ingredients. <laughs> oh dear. That's a brand new strainer. That's the first time I've used it. That's a bummer. Huh. Well, that's going back. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, and then you just mix this up and that's it. Oh, red onion. I got to put the red onion in. I think I might do scallions because red onions are kind of hard on my hubby. So, I don't know. Don't you think scallions would be tasty? Terry K, hi. Gina. Now, Gina, don't feel you have to be looking at yet one more video. <laughs> Poor kid. I, you know, you know what it reminds me of some days, these videos, watching all these videos is how my mom used to watch soap operas. She used to sit on the couch and watch soap operas all day. But um, I don't sit. I'm running around cooking, cleaning, working in the garden. And uh, sometimes I have to listen to things a couple of times because my mind wanders. But I just had a great time working out in the garden and listening to, to um, Dr. Doug Lyle. <laughs> what a cutie. So, there's the beet salad so far, and I just got to chop some onion up in it. What do you think? Think scallions would work in that? Might as well try it. Because that red onion's really hard on him. I just love it, but he, he sort of says, take it easy on that red onion. I suppose I could leave onion out, but onion's so good. <laughs> Gina, you're such a sweetie. <laughs> Okay, so over here, I'm just heating stuff up for the the mix. Oh, hey, look what I got in the mail today. Mm -hmm. A juice squeezer. I have the one where you push down on the, the pointed thing that makes the juice come out. And Stephen was drying the dishes the other day, and he dropped it, and it just, you know, broke into a million pieces. And I'm like, oh, that's okay. That's okay. I've been wanting to get one of these for so long. So you think scallions would work, Gina? Okay, I'm going to do it. So isn't that cool? I hope it works. So for the Mexican stuffed potato, can you see that? Yeah. Here. I'm just heating these up. Stephen's out walking. I have to take another day off walking as my feet heal, but they're feeling much better. Um, this is uh, about a cup of corn, a cup of peas, and that mushroom onion corn combination that I made yesterday to go with the red lentil soup. I thought, ooh, that, wouldn't that be good Stuff down a, with a, for stuffing the potato? And then here, I just cooked some fresh pinto beans today, and I'm just reheating them on the stove. Yummy. And it's been a while since we have pinto beans. Last time 
what we did is we just, that burner's not on. Huh. Sometimes I turn on the wrong burner. Oh, dear. Well, that's no good. I'm going to turn it up and see if it'll come on. The brand new stove top, too. Can't have that happening. Well, not brand new, but it's only about a year old. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Karen, how do you like your juicer? Let me run and get some scallions. So I went to the Asian store today and they had black rice and red rice. I have not been able to find red rice in ever until today. So I bought it. It's not cheap, but I thought, oh, I want to try it. So scallions. Well, I think three would be too much for him. And I like the whole scallion. Yeah, Gina, I've never had red rice either. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I try it. Because, you know, AJ mentions it, but I looked for it before and couldn't find it. And I look for it in this, the same Asian store, too, so I'm very excited. And then the Asian... The fella at the Asian store, he's been so nice to me. And he told me about this uh, mango recipe using mung beans. But I looked it up and it's all pork and I don't know. It's a pork-based recipe. So it's, it's mung beans and onions and what else is it? I'd have to look it up again, but. It wasn't that exciting. I just thought it might be interesting to make mung, mung beans because I haven't made them before. I sprouted them when I was raw and, you know, ate them raw. But I don't know. I'm, I'm not real crazy about raw sprouted beans. They were okay. It was okay when I was doing it, but I miss them cooked because I'm so used to having having cook. This fella that I'm going to see Friday that's back to Eden with the gardening, turns out he pretty much just eats from his garden. And he says when it's living food like that, you feel a lot fuller, a lot more satiated. But the reason we don't feel satiated on our nowadays fruits and veg vegetables is because they don't have enough nutrients in them. You know, our soil is dying. We don't have enough nutrient density to really help us to feel satiated. So, you know, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. Let's add this in. There we go. Oh, I just love this. Amazing what a few simple ingredients. Imagine if this food is, you know, dead food, what would it be like to have nutrient-dense fresh vegetables out of your, your replenished soil? Oh, and I was pruning fruit trees today. I have no clue what I'm doing, but he says the more he prunes his the better they produce. So, but he, he's an arborist. So <laughs> maybe the more I prune mine, the, the less they'll do anything. But I want to put per perk all along them either. I did raw for six weeks. And what happened is I had a girlfriend that was really having some autoimmune s signs and symptoms. And I says, well, why not put raw to the to the test and you know i always watch listen and nate and so i said i'll do i'll do it with you 
So she lasted a week and a half and I went, I enjoyed it so much. I went six weeks, but it was in winter and I was cold. Um, I'm actually, since I've done the fast at true North, that's changed for me and I'm not feeling cold all the time. In fact, I'm feeling pretty warm and, uh, I'm, I'm the rare type that I like hot flashes because they warm me up. Um, but I don't have that many of them anymore. I used to, I used to have better ones, but um, before I went whole food, I was never cold. But I, I definitely I noticed the difference. But um, you know, we don't eat fat, so we don't have that insulation. I mean, we don't eat a lot of fat. There's fat normally in our some of our foods. So. What other changes have I noticed from since True North? Well, definitely I had that urinary urgency thing where I was, you know, almost peeing my pants and, and having to wear a pad. And that has greatly resolved. Um, one thing I have to do is I have to pay attention because I don't have a really heightened sense that I have to go. So as soon as I feel... I might have to go. I have to do, I have to go then if I want to be able to have time to undo my pants and and get my pants down and and not pee all over myself. And I know that's too much information, but hey, you know, it's a real thing as we're getting older. I I know Stephen has issues. So you know, it happens. You guys can probably relate. Yeah, I don't know, Karen, why the warmer body temperature since True North, but it I definitely notice a difference. Yeah, okay. So, Jeannie, you know what I'm talking about. Terry, you can relate. Okay, so I'm not alone. And, and I figured, I, if it ha you know, if it can happen to both Stephen and I, it's probably happening to more people our age in our 50s, 60s, and 70s. So let's see if this burner's coming on. No. How about that? All right. Well, this one's on. And this is this is simmering now. Hmm. All right. Well, let's try another burner here. We'll get this going, and then I I. Uh, Chopped a bunch of a bunch of cilantro up, and I've got some russet potatoes that have been baking in the oven. So let's let's go ahead and try to plate something. Susanna, <laughs> oh man, that's the first I've seen you. And um, Jesse told me how to upload the the chat replay, so I went ahead and did that. So. Thanks for bringing that up, that it wasn't showing. So here's a potato. This isn't a huge one, so I actually have two, if need be. Well, I should say four, because one for two for Stephen and two for me. Hey, Susanna, look, I made the beet salad. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> it's, um, it's mango and beet and mint and i put in scallions because steven's a little sensitive with red onions so i put in scallions gina said me told me it was okay so with my mexican stuffed potato i'm just gonna gonna smash my potato a little bit so that this good stuff will mix like so, and then let's take some of our goodies. And Suzanne, I was, I added a little bit. I, I've got um, frozen peas, frozen corn, and then the mushroom onion corn mixture that I made yesterday to go with the uh, red lentil chili that I made. So, put that on. And now my beans are boiling. 
And then we got the pinto beans. Put those on. And then some cilantro. I like lots of cilantro. Stephen Stephen says it tastes like soap, but I love it. And then pica de gallo, pica de gallo. There we have it. <laughs> As usual, my presentation isn't that great, but it sure tastes good. <laughs> so oh, that's the way it's going to be. I know. We just jump around from event to event. That is so true. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Good to see you. Yeah, so I don't know. This looks pretty good to just show them both together. And I'll put a picture on Instagram. But that's that's pretty that's a pretty easy dinner. What do you think? And then there's the the kofudi. So then we got our sprouts on day two. So you can see they're already starting to show sprouts. So we'll go ahead and rinse them. Has anybody else tried the clafuti? Oh, hi, Annette. <laughs> it has been quite a day for YouTubes. And did everybody see Jonathan? He lost another almost a pound today, so he's down to 177 point something. So that's kind of neat. He's getting there. All right. So we got the, the sprouts. Drain, rinse and drain for tonight. You guys keep me on track with these sprouts. Tomorrow I'll have to take pictures of all the work I'm doing in the garden. It's going to, you know, in the next two days, these sprouts are just going to explode into sprouts. Amazing how how it happens. I, I'm just fascinated with, me, with it. I, I don't get tired of it. I love watching them do their thing. And I'm hoping I can grow stuff in the garden. I got my blueberries all covered today. Okay. Fresh fruit only for dessert for 90 days. All right. Good, good thinking, Susanna. If that doesn't do it, I can't imagine. And, and more veggies. More. Are you a salad eater? I, I think salads help a lot. <laughs> You go, girl. You got to do this. You got to get those last darn 10 pounds, even if it's only temporary. It's just, you know, just to do it. But I, I think you'll do it. Okay. A salad a day. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, Dr. Foreman. I, that's what I do, too. I used to do, too, but I've been eating lighter at breakfast since I fasted on, what was it, Monday I fasted? <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Okay, that's it. Anything else? We, we could we can look at what tomorrow is going to bring. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is the beet salad, potato for lunch, broccoli for breakfast, the broccoli rice, and the yummy sauce. I have never made yummy sauce, so I'm going to make that tomorrow. Okay. And then the oatmeal cookies. Usually, I make the oatmeal cookies with buckwheat because it's a whole food. And I dehydrate, and I dehydrate them all day, so we get to smell that oatmeal, cinnamony, banana smell all day. But um, I don't know. I, I have made the oatmeal cookies, but.
but they're so good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one, but I might skip the oatmeal cookies and just do the broccoli, bro broccoli rice, the yummy sauce and a salad. So, oh, Annette, you're fasting tonight. Good for you. So that means you must have gone, you must have started around lunchtime today. And um, this will be your third fast. That's awesome. What dehydrator I have? I have this round one that we got on YouTube. Here, let me show you. It's a Kasori. So this is the base of it. And then the the uh, shelves, they stack on, oops, sorry. They stack on top. Let me get some of the shelves. Like this. And they, they look like that. And then there's a lid. Ooh, that's dusty. I haven't used it in a while. And then there's a solid thing, which doesn't make a lot of sense because the air can't get through. Um, but I'm sure they're they're doing that for things that are liquidy. So maybe you just have to use it till the liquid dries up and then you can switch it out for something else. And, and then this is what I start the, the buckwheat cookies on. And then I make my own out of parchment paper. And I, I have a two-hole cutter. And I just fold that paper. I have one of these. And then I just, I fold a piece of parchment. I, I cut it to the circle of the uh, the shelf. And then I fold it several times. And then I start sticking it into the whole thing. And I make a bunch of holes. And then, of course, when you open it up, there's a whole bunch more holes. Aren't I clever? So that's the dehydrator. Which I used a lot more when I was raw. Eating raw. And I, I, you know, I did drop five pounds right away. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. Oh, and Jesse too. Um, what's the deal with the beets, Jesse? Did I miss something? Hmm. What do you mean? What's the deal with the beets? Oh, Susanna, you said something. Hmm. I don't see it. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the dehydrator. Another thing I did today is I made tea without heating up my water. I just stuck the, the tea bags in, in my Kangen water, which is a little bit um, alkaline, and it's pretty good. This is herbal there's a good earl, good earth organic sweet and spicy it's made with riobos and then there's a uh a, a, a blueberry and you can taste the i actually taste the blue better berry better when it's cold oh beets upset your stomach oh oh i wonder what's in them that makes them you know pe people either love them or they hate them right jesse sun tea Except it wasn't in the sun, but but it, I think the alkalinity of the water brings out the, the tea. <laughs> Cold brew, yeah. <laughs> I Yeah, I, I roasted these beets. I actually prefer them raw, but uh, for this salad, they're really good roasted. So, yeah. Oh, that's too bad that you like them, but they don't like you. Yeah, Gina, I order the Good Earth Tea six boxes at a time from Amazon. <laughs> so, what else? What else can I show you? I think that's it for tonight, you guys. <laughs> I could just go and you guys could just chat. <laughs> no, I love chatting with you guys. I wonder where Jennifer's had enough. I know she was kind of... She was videoed out today. 
<laughs> Susanna, you cook, you do cook so much wonderful food. We all do, really. I mean, it's cooking and prep, prepping is just so much more fun doing it this way. So, all right, you guys. Janet, check out my last comment on WhatsApp about chat replay. Yes, you do not have a problem with it. It's the viewer's problem. Well, I never, I never checked the box. I just noticed it when you told me it was in the studio that you can check the box to replay the chat, you know, after the live. And so I went ahead and checked that. So it should be there now. <laughs> oh my gosh, Stephanie, Stephanie, six or number six or seven live today. Well, let's see two, two chef AJ's Jonathan's be green and, and me. Yeah. Yeah. That's like at least five. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, it. the chat should be there now in replay, but but it's the first one that I've done. Have you seen any of the other ones? Oh, that's right. Your friend was over today, Suzanne. It was Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, geez, was Tammy and Nutmeg on? I, di I, didn't, uh, I didn't catch that one. You know, I was on the run all day. I had to do all the grocery shopping. I went to Sprouts. Costco, the Asian store. And then um, as soon as I came home, I had to put all the groceries away. And then Edgar's is, is here because we're doing the extension, our builder. We're, we're extending their bedroom seven feet. So he's putting up plastic walls. We got a plastic wall across our room now. And our bed's right out in the living room. <laughs> and... Um, and then I went out and I, I you know, I, I, yes, my feet and my ankles are much better today. So we'll see what happens because I, I'm still not, I'm still not walking. You know, Jesse, even at the, um, the convention, my, at, at that time, I think it was my left foot. I don't know. I, I wonder if it's the, the, the vaccines and the boosters because out of nowhere, my ankles started to hurt. And I, at first I thought it was because I was being too rough on the treadmill. And um, it was my the, the fifth metatarsal of my left foot. And I was running on the treadmill. And I hadn't run for quite a while because I hadn't had a, a treadmill to run on. And um, usually Stephen and I just walk. And, and we love to walk. We walk all the time. So uh, I stopped running on the treadmill and it it eased right up and then i developed this ache in my uh instep you know like a, a an arch that's fallen and and then it shifted from the instep of my foot to the outside top of my foot and it was really painful for a while and then it switched to my right ankle and then both ankles would be achy and painful on the and, and be on the tops of the feet. So it was like something was inflammatory, although sometimes my uh, um my first metatarsal, you know, the big toe metatarsal, so it's the long thin bone of the foot would like click into place and it would be ah and then it would feel better. So it was sort of a combination of mechanical and and inflammatory but it was just so strange that it would it would switch from one side to the other. Oh, that's what you're having that too. Did you get the vaccine and the boosters? I was wondering. And then my, my a friend of mine, Emma, she said that her knee and ankle had suddenly started to feel swollen and, and achy. And, and I mean, I actually had swelling. I, you know, went to take a shower and I, I, I have a toe ring. That I always, you know, when I ride, I wear sandals and I have a toe ring and, you know, I love the thing. And it was pinching. And um, Steve and I went out for a walk one night. And I said, you know, every time I go walking, my toe ring pinches. But I forget about it by the time I get home because it's better by the time I get home. And uh, yeah, I had Moderna too, Jesse. 
Yeah. 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 Now I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get anything more because this has really been, you know, it's been for several weeks and it just seems like no matter what I do, it just comes and goes, it ebbs and flows. But, um, where was I with the, oh, the toe ring. So, you know, when I took my sock off to go take a shower, then I saw my toes were all swollen and my foot was swollen. So, you know, I laid down and, and elevated it after the shower and um, the swelling's much better now. And I, and I took the day off. I fasted for 36 hours. And um, so I, I haven't walked for a couple of days and I'm, 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 it's feeling a lot better, but uh, it's still there. So careful you guys about these vaccines and boosters. That's the only thing that I've done other than my usual, you know, you all know I'm pretty active. So man. So, Hey, if you hear any docs talking about it or, or let me know if you find out something is, is, is up with, uh, these vaccines. And I, I also, uh, every once in a while, I'll get a, a, a request of, you know, what have my symptoms, have I developed any symptoms since the vaccine? And now I wish they'll, I hope they'll check in because I want to let them know. So, Hey, I got to go eat my dinner because it's going to be cold. <laughs> so I'm going to head off you guys and I'll, Talk to you tomorrow. All right? Or or not, you know, if you're if you're busy and tired of watching videos, I don't blame you a bit. Yeah, I think you were smart, Karen, not to have the shots. Yeah, Susanna. Good to see you here. Take care, guys. Have a good night. Here I go. You bet, Terry. Goodbye, Jesse. <laughs>